Six weeks after being forced to drop everything to escape a construction crane collapse, the former tenants of a Dallas apartment building will rally tomorrow against their former landlord. CBS 11's J.D. Miles live from the site where government investigators will now finally allow the wreckage to be removed. J.D.? Gilly, you might expect hundreds of former Elon City Lights tenants to welcome this news that government investigators with OSHA have approved removing the collapsed cr cr crane debris behind me. You see, but those we spoke with are not. It's the same rhetoric that we've been hearing for weeks and weeks and weeks with no results, uh, empty promises. Cal Fami has driven by his old apartment every day since June 9th, shaking his head in frustration. About 20 grand of furniture and possession in my apartment. Fami and other former tenants of Elon City Light still have possessions and vehicles inside the building where a construction crane collapsed during a storm, killing a woman and damaging hundreds of units. OSHA announced yesterday it was finished examining the debris, which cleared the way for removal of the crane, which has slowed efforts to recover property. Tenants were forced to leave behind almost seven weeks ago. I want my stuff, I want my life back. I want to go on with my life. My life gets set back way, way, way back. Graystar, which owns Elon City Lights and the building under construction from where the crane fell from, updated former tenants in an email saying that 71 of the more than 300 apartments have been cleaned out by recovery workers and sent to a storage facility. The plan is to have all apartments in the non-impact zone emptied by August 18th. As for the more than 100 apartments in the damaged area, nothing will be done, we are told, until the cranes removed. Graystar says it is finalizing plans for that to happen. Many of the residents, though, have run out of patience. They're planning on a rally here tomorrow morning to call on their former landlord to accelerate the work. Live in Dallas, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News. JD